Circle of CEOs in the building, man. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, man. Oh. I, I kind of missed live. We was talking the other day. You know, we ain't been going live like that. We got to get back active, baby. Yo, listen, I, I, I was supposed to go live. I just got off my coaching call, and I was going to go live. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to get on live. Turk said, oh, everybody on live tonight. I said, what you mean? She's like, no, nah, Alex on there. I said, okay. <laughs> I'm crashing Alex live. That's good. She in here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hey, you see how real friends do, y'all? When, mm -hmm. when one person is on live, we, we try not to go live at the same time, man. Let's be clear about something that, um, and, and I'm pretty sure you're going to agree with me on this, right? Yeah. Because do we do internet marketing? We do do in internet marketing. But I ain't no fucking internet marketer. Y'all got to mm. understand, at this point, I went from an entrepreneur, entrepreneur when I was self-employed and I was employed by my own business, See, we were entrepreneurs at that point, right? <clears throat> and from there, we became businessmen. See, so now that we, 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 marketing online is one thing, but, you know, we're not online marketers where we make all of our money online. See, my, my brother was able to show you his numbers that he makes off of his back office because what? Because he runs businesses. See, at this point now, when you start to operate multiple four and five different businesses, you start to become a mobile right when you start to run multiple seven figure businesses it's starting to cross over into a mobile status to where we're all actually creating other moguls where you know some of your students and your business partners are coaching and coaching on my calls right i got my students that's actually doing coaching calls and we're creating more people do we make money online yes but do we make money offline double yes I right yes <laughs> and and that's one of the things that i don't want nobody to get it confused with um, as we as entrepreneurs and we start building, we got to go into the mindset. It's like, listen, it's, it's time to start building out moguls, right? Because when we think of a mogul in the black community, we think of Diddy's and we think of the Hove and, you know, maybe a Bob Johnson. But it isn't too many people that come from the ground up that's actually impacting teaching people. And you guys can actually trace back the steps that we use to create this empire, right? It, like I, I said it today, like I showed when I made, I had a million dollar day. I made a million dollars in a day, yes, but I own almost seven different companies, right, right, that people don't understand. And see, I own seven different companies. Everything don't got to be face value. Everything don't got to be based off of my face, my name, my brand. You guys right. see me on, in, in, at the boxing ring. I ain't there for no reason. Right. That my recession proof wasn't on the side of that fight for no reason. When you see entertainment things, the one of the biggest, the biggest actual <clears throat> media showcase for for entertainment is the shit show. You don't see recession proof running on the screen for no reason. Right. <laughs> because if I'm involved with something, it's ownership there. If my name is there, if recession proof is there, that's ownership some way. And I just cross brand two things that I own and put them together. So you're going to see it. So you got to understand is that we're at a point now where we're starting to build out bigger businesses in every different arena, giving different opportunities to our community, right? Because Alex will be selfish if he say, oh, yeah, all I can give you is trucking. Mm -hmm. Alex came on and said, nah, yeah, okay, I'm going to give you trucking, but I'm going to show you how we diversify, right? I'm going to show you how we integrate vertically into this industry. I'm going buying truck lots, right? <laughs> and, I, and, I'm, and I'm magnifying the, the trucking game. Understand that this is, this is, this is start to become mobile talk because if, if you know, and I know my brother, like, like, like y'all know him because y'all tap in with us, we family, you know, it's not going to be one truck stop. <laughs> I don't give a damn what he talking about. You can't do one by yourself. I need smoke. Facts. I need, I need one too. <laughs> right? Because we understand business. And these are the things that we have to grow as people and individuals in our community It's like, nah, we need to learn and grow and on every different aspect and different businesses. And that's the key to it. And so when you guys are building your businesses, don't think that, listen, oh, I'm just doing this. This, this is my one business. No, your one little business is only your little business if you leave it little. Because Alex's little truck that he got when he first got it was a little ass truck. <laughs> that was one truck with an okay income. Yeah. It's not what got that. Y'all see behind. I see y'all like, man, that house is beautiful. Yeah. Hey, I, that I, I just, I just, I, Andre said he won't smoke too. He won't end on the truck stop too. <laughs> listen, man. Listen, y'all. I, I mean, y'all, I, I, I'm getting, I got bored, yo. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I got bored, man. I, I started <clears> off with a trucking company. I uh, grew it all the way to, to 11 trucks, right? Mm -hmm. Then I started the dispatch service. I started dispatching for other people's truck. Mm -hmm. Then I then I started doing one on one consultations. Then I then I dropped the portal, right? Seventeen thousand students later, you dig what I'm saying? Then I then I did my first property flip in Chicago, right? Six months came up, went crazy with it, right? 
Then I invested mm -hmm. in stocks. Mm -hmm. Then I did Forex. Mm -hmm. I got crypto. Mm -hmm. I got to keep raising the bar. So I'm like, you know what? Let me figure out what the problem is in my, in my industry. Let me leverage my, 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 my brand, my reach, my capital, and let me solve a problem. So mm -hmm. I, listen, man, I'm going to just go ahead and put it out there, man. I'm days away from closing on nine acres, mm -hmm. 15 minutes from the city. Mm -hmm. Right? And it ain't just going to be a truck stop. It ain't going to just be truck parking lot. Why not put a hotel on there for the drivers to sleep at if they don't want to sleep in their truck? Mm -hmm. Why not put a laundry mat so that they can wash their clothes? Mm -hmm. Why not put some healthy food trucks out there? Why not have a dude pulling up washing their trucks? Why not put a mechanic on the damn lot? Talking heaven. Right? That's well, look, I got 17,000 students. I don't even got a market. I'm going to just have my people mm -hmm. come in and park there. I don't even got a market. I already got the people built in. You got to diversify within your own industry first. I want all the mm -hmm. smoke. There's a lot of things that can be duplicated. Mm -hmm. There's some things that can't. You can't duplicate that. Catch up. You know what I'm saying? Listen, Catch up. This is, this is, this is, this is Copy that. fact. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, and that's a fact. Like, when it comes to, when it comes to business, like, this ain't for one person, right? This is not something that only Alex can do. This is things that you can do amongst your industry. All you have to do is have the drive and the momentum and figure out resources, right? The ability to create resources changes everything, right? Most people don't see it. I tell my people, look, I'm going I'm to run the play down because I tell people this all the time. I say, listen, we live in such high demand cities, right? We live in high demand cities. I teach my mentees so many different things. I have to then create something new, right? So I dropped the playbook today on how I made a million dollars in a day. I ain't even dropped it yet. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all... Alex, no, I'd have had that for, 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 for months. That's a fact. I've been sitting on that for months because I didn't know if I wanted to put it out there yet or not. Right? These are the things that, that happen amongst business. But my goal and why the reason I put that out there is because I'm getting mentees that's hitting me saying, yo, I made 200000 this month. Yo, I made 100000 this month. Yo, I made 50000 this month. And I'm looking at it going, cool, it's time to take it to the next level. Right? Y'all seen the event. When I did the recession-proof event, when I talk about that, and you see a Floyd Mayweather or Rick Ross, right? When y'all seen the fact that the whole conference game changed <laughs> on the back of that recession-proof name. The bar has been set. That's a fact. Then you it set the bar. The you set the blueprint, bro. And guess what happens now? If I can't teach my mentees and I can't teach people amongst recession proof how to actually go and monetize events like I do, then I'm being selfish. Then I'm being selfish. Jay said a line that I, that I can't get past, right? Jay-Z, my favorite rapper, he got a lot of fucking bars. He got a lot of shit that he said in his career that can be definitely quoted, that a lot of people can quote. A lot of real shit Hov has said. But one thing that made me feel competitive is he said, I'd have made more millionaires than a lotto did. Say it again, bro. <laughs> he said, I made more millionaires than a lotto did. I need that smoke. I need to be able to say that with my chest up. 